Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn how to use can deactivate guard. In my previous video, I have explained about can activate and what is the purpose of can activate. Now we will be using can deactivate guard. So when we have to use this can deactivate, I'll give a real time example. In a situations where you are filling an insurance details within a form and suddenly or intentionally you are trying to go back and whenever you are navigating from the current page to the different page so there may be a pop-up like do you want to save these changes or not or these changes will not be saved is that okay or not like that you will be seeing the pop-ups and this is in general we'll use even in the payment gateways like for example you have filled the amount you have filled everything in the payment details of your net banking when you click on the back button automatically it will show you this transaction will be cancelled do you want to continue like that we have different types of scenarios where we can use can deactivate so what is the purpose of can deactivate can deactivate will help us whenever you are navigating back to another previous url then this can deactivate guard will be called and you can execute any certain logic over there and in this video we will see two approaches one is functional deactivate and class deactivate that functional deactivate is a new fashion of using can deactivate class deactivate is the previous usage so now we'll see how to generate them how to use it in our real time examples so for that sake to create I need to have at least two routes so let me create two routes with two components and the component names are ng generate component and the component name is home component and I want to create a skip hyphen tests files and I don't want to use any of the options over here let me hit enter now home component created ng generate component and the component name is form component and let me skip the test files hit enter so it has created two components one is form component and one is home component and it updated in our app module now I need two routes for this so for that sake let me go into app routing and here inside the app routing let me create a path where the path is empty and I am using a redirect to I want to redirect to home and the path match is full I have explained completely about routing in my starting video of this routing series please watch that for better understanding now I am not using any lazy loading over here just I am creating a path called as home and the component name is home component now we, I have created a home component now let me create a path where the path is something like form and I have a component related to this that is called as form component now I have created two routes one is home and one is form by default it will go into home component and hence this component will be rendered so let me go into home component now let me go to HTML and just create one button over here and the button is navigate to form so I am using a button called as navigate to form and use a click event and this click event will be called when you click on this navigate to form and I want to navigate to form now let me copy this and go to your TS just create one function over here and let me create one constructor and the constructor is private router and the router service now let me import this router service from our router class and let me use this dot router dot navigate of I want to navigate to form component now let me save this and save this by clicking on this I'll be navigating to the form component so let's check that now you have navigate to form let me go here and let me click on navigate to form it went to form works that means form component now have moved into form but in the form I'll just create some sort of reactive form control only one control I want to make it valid or invalid and everything and when the user goes back I'll just check whether that is filled or not so for that sake let me create an input field and let me use a placeholder username and let me give a form 
control something like this and this form control I'll just create now go to form.ts I'm creating a form control that is nothing but username is equal to I want to create a form control and the form control is empty and the validations are validators dot required and let me create this by using a new keyword because form control is a class let me copy this username and put it over here now we are using the reactive forms logics so that's why I need to import my module that is nothing but reactive forms module in our module.ts and let me go here it compiled successfully now you can see this user form now let's come up with the real time scenario what I am doing I am just clicking on the back button then it went to home page let me navigate forward and you are in the form component now I typed something and when I click on the back button immediately it is navigating to home page but there is a data which is already filled over here and we are losing that data without getting the confirmation from the user because there could be a situation where the mouse click may happen unintentional user may not know that he is clicking on the back button because mouse can be moved here and there and also in Mac if you see you can navigate even by using two or two fingers over the scroll of your mouse so whenever you are scrolling that mouse pad automatically it is going further you can see home and you can see form so that's the different things which may happen and user can go back intentionally or unintentionally and the form will be destroyed here we are using only one form control but in the real time situations like insurance form details you will have children details parental details individual details like that you have n number of details and if you fill everything and unintentionally it moved back the whole form which is already filled will be lost and again the user need to fill this is not a good user experience that is the reason whenever the user goes back we will be stopping the screen here itself with a confirmation like whether he has to go back or not that means I want to check some conditions on my form component before leaving that particular route so in this case I don't want to leave form component or form route without any confirmation when there is a change in the data so for that sake let me create one auth guard that is nothing but can deactivate guard ng generate and g for guard so let me use something like form deactive and let me use skip hyphen tests and then let me use something called as hyphen hyphen functional is equal to true so if you want to get the functional guard then you can use functional is equal to true or just hit this because by default the functional option is true let me hit this now a function will be created by selecting this can deactivate we can select by using space bar let me hit this now can deactivate guard has been created so if you see here we got a component what is this component the component here indicates the current component whatever you are using for example this guard is used at our routing so let me go into routing and inside the form before form leaves it will go and call this can deactivate and inside this it's an array format so you can call form deactivate guard so now it will check this deactivation if this deactivation gives you a written value as true then it will deactivate otherwise it will not deactivate it is also same like can activate the only difference is can activate will be initialized whenever you are moving forward and whenever you are moving backward then this form deactivate guard will be called so that is the only difference between can activate and can deactivate so let me go here into the form deactivate and for our understanding let me close all and just go to the form deactivate guard inside this as we are using this guard for a component and that component is related to the form component you will be getting the form component so what I'll do I'll just show you this component by using console.log console.log of component and save this go here let me go back now I'm clicking on home and whenever I'm clicking on back button you are seeing a form component you can see here and that form component contains a variable called as username 
if we are checking this username that is it is invalid or it is dirty so like that some set of conditions we can write now what my condition is if my component exist and component dot username exist and here we are not giving any reference so let me give any and component dot username if the component dot username exist and component dot username dot dirty because dirty is a property of that username and I'll just use a question mark for a safer check so let me use a question mark over here if this is dirty then immediately I want to show a confirmation so how to show a confirmation I'll just use a simple confirmation that is nothing but confirm this confirm is a property of window object and I can pass a message you can use something like you have some unsaved details and are you sure to go back so he will be giving the confirmation and this confirmation will return you true when he clicks on ok so let me return the true value that means he uh, is giving the permission to go back and else the return statement will be false so this is how we will be confirming the user details and just save this go to the form and just change something and click on back button immediately you have some unsaved details are you sure you want to go back let me cancel this so you are in the same page that is forms page now let me type something again and let me go back now I am clicking on OK it went directly to the home page because on the confirmation I am just returning the user to false condition so that is why it got re-triggered and then we are checking whether it is true or false so this is how we can implement our can deactivate and the same logic you can use even for class level of can deactivate but nowadays no one is using that we are using only the functional deactivate guard ng generate guard and the guard name is Kim. I'll just use the same name deactivate guard class this is my guard name and I want to skip my test file skip hyphen tests and I want to use a functional as false that means I want to use a class so let me hit enter and it is asking permission I and selected this and selected can deactivate let me hit enter now it created a class guard if you go into this you are seeing everything in a class format and you are seeing something called as can deactivate and this can deactivate is deprecated you can see here it is deprecated and most of the cases we are trying to use something called as functional guards so here also you have the same parameters component current route current state and next state so let me hit enter and now the same conditions you can write over here also so let me use the same logic copy this and put it over here let me use format and now you have the component and let me remove unknown instead of unknown I'll use any and instead of unknown I'll use boolean value which is returning or any and now save this now we'll use this class guard instead of using our form guard let me comment this and now let me use can deactivate and can deactivate will have this class guard let me save this and now go here it works the same way and to understand that are you sure to go back from class guard just for our understanding let me save this and go to form and let me update something and let me click on this you can see here are you sure to go back from class guard this is coming from class guard and I'm clicking on cancel so that is how you can use your confirmation even in the class guard so class guard and functional guards both are same the way how they represent are different but the only thing is functional guards are more performative compared to class guards because at last the classes need to be converted into forms again that is a very big process so that is the reason what we are trying to do is we are using functional itself now this is how you can use can deactivate there are three more proper properties which we need to know that is current route current route is nothing but the current route like form route and its details that is something like an activated route snapshot you will be you can get any data from this 
and also you can have something called as console.log or current state and there is something called as next state console.log of next state this will give you two informations so let me go into our default route and click on this so now you got a form let me click on back button it went to home let me click this and change something now you will be getting a pop-up are you sure you want to cancel and you can see activated route activated route is pointing to your path that is form and this is all the required data about activated route snapshot and you can see here URL URL is the form that is current URL and the next URL will be home that means where we are trying to go that is nothing but home so this is how it will be making the track of all current state and next state and also current route and also component details so hope you understood whole about can deactivate and to make it very clear the component logic or the condition will depend on the business logic whatever you are trying to write but here I took a very small example in your cases the example could be something like very big the requirement could be something like very big and you may be having n number of conditions over there need to handle all these conditions so that you can have a appropriate can deactivate and one more thing you need to learn is which one will be called can deactivate will be called as a priority or ng destroy will call as a priority let's check that so let me go into our form component.ts and just I'll implement one interface called as on destroy so let me write one ng on destroy ng on destroy this is my interface method let me write console.log of on destroy so now the case is this form is getting destroyed and the guard is also present for that particular form so now the case is which one will be called first so now let me go here go back go back and now you are at uh, default route and let me click on navigate to this let me type something when I click back button which will be called ng destroy lifecycle or we will it will be calling the guard so if you see can deactivate and on destroy that means if kin deactivates is true then only it is allowing to call the destroy method if not the destroy will co not called so you can see here let me click on this now you are seeing that guard is called first and I'm clicking on cancel in this case destroy will not call because the form decided not to destroy so now the case is let me go into our 4200 and navigate to form and type something and just click on back button you can see are you sure and you can see this are coming from the guard let me click on ok and if you see you it called on destroy that means if can deactivate returns true then on destroy will be called so this is the relation between can deactivate and ng on destroy hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you